Hi Aries, what's up and welcome to your March reading. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you and all of your love and support. It means the world to me and I'm so excited to be able to connect with you today. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. And yeah, we're going to start off your reading by pulling you a couple Moonology cards, see what this new moon in Pisces has in store for you. The new moon is on the, the 9th, 10th, 11th, around those days is when we'll be feeling it, when we'll be really asked to set our intentions, plant our seeds of, you know, what we're trying to manifest here, what we're trying to call to fruition. So your first card out, we have full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity along with expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. Give me one more for Aries, please. What's going on for Aries? All right, nothing is yet set in stone, and don't let pride get in your way. We got Leo energy and Scorpio energy. We also have luck is on your side, new moon and Sag at the bottom. So Aries, it's really important that you pay close attention to the events that are taking place, the energy, the people that you're dealing with, the themes that are coming up, because this is connecting to the eclipses that we are about to head into. All right, so we have the full moon eclipse in Libra happening on the end of March, so the 25th. And then next month in April, we have the eclipse taking place in your sign, I believe on the 10th. I believe it's the 10th when we have the eclipse happening in your sign, Aries. So this is giving you a little bit of a heads up. This is like the pre-eclipse, pre-eclipse vibes, okay? And there's going to be some powerful change. I see you overcoming some sort of fear. I also see you overcoming your pride and ego, <laughs> um, fear of being, uh, making mistakes or looking foolish or you know judgment of other people i just i see you really clearing blocks that have been hindering your growth or preventing you from expressing yourself it is also showing that nothing's yet set in stone like you have the ability to kind of maneuver and mold and shape shift your reality to your liking so if you're not quite happy with where things are going right now or this month the good news is you have the ability to really shape it into what you want it to be okay so yeah if things aren't really going the best right now just know and nothing set in stone and that can change very very quickly so yeah and i guess even vice versa i don't want to even put that energy out there but if things are going good it's not set in stone <laughs> things can change if it's not in alignment with you in the grand scheme the divine might have a little surprise okay but let's let's not put that energy out there <laughs> let's just see what else needs to come through for you okay but it's really important that you just kind of like let the current take you to where you're meant to be let those waves carry you um don't fight those currents right but yeah let's see what's going on for aries in the month of march 2024 what does aries need to know look for look forward look forward to what's coming towards aries in march let's just keep it simple what's coming towards aries in the month of march firefly inspiration you got a lot of inspiration lots of new ideas lots of potential there's some things that are coming and going all right it's like kind of that unpredictable like nothing's yet set in stone the ball's still in the air you know anything could happen we have the fit the shark i see a reoccurring situation being brought up again or it's like i see a pattern kind of repeating itself a little bit of deja vu um what else okay we have the owl the owl and then at the bottom we have the hawk which is typically about news delivering some sort of news or news being delivered to you significant change that comes with this we also have the lizard and the dragon this could be about your career it could be about your spiritual path there's some sort of news that might actually be shifting the direction you're going down or shifting paths you might be changing your path or moving into a new direction that maybe you didn't initially think was going to happen or you didn't really plan for. So, by the way, also in March, we have Mercury retrograde taking place in your sign. It starts to retrograde in Aries and then it'll retrograde back into Pisces, I believe. Pretty damn sure. But I'll have to double, triple check next time because I don't know. It's not that important because we're not in it just yet, but it's around the like third week of March is when we have... Is, is it the pre-shadow that begins? Probably. Yeah. So I'll talk about it later on on my channel. We're not going to talk about it much, but there's just like a lot going on astrologically 
So it could be a bit of an interesting month, to say the least. So back to that firefly energy. This is where you're getting hit with a lot of inspiration, a lot of new ideas, um, glimpses of your potential future. Okay, I say this again, potential future. All right, there's many different paths, many different possibilities, and you're getting insight into all these different directions you could take your life. But then it comes down to the action that you take. And are you going to stay committed? Are you going to show up? Are you going to really dedicate yourself? In what ways have you been not showing up for yourself? Or in what ways have you been making excuses or avoiding or, yeah, like avoiding certain tasks or avoiding certain people or certain things that situations that make you feel a little uncomfortable, even avoiding the truth or expressing the truth? This card is all about speak, speaking the truth and um, being honest. So that might also be something that comes up for you during this time. Or like I said, during Mercury retrograde may be a time where you really got to express some things that maybe you've kind of kept to yourself or maybe shown in little hints or little ways, but nothing too grand. You know, it might um, might be time to like just get it off your chest we also have the owl out here and this is all about you really needing to listen and follow your intuition your intuition is guiding you to some sort of truth some sort of insight and showing you the way of the path that you need to take and um typically when the owl comes out it does talk about some sort of gift or blessing that's coming in it might be financial for some of you it could actually be like a physical physical item i'm hearing like a why am I hearing totem? Like, you know, totem, a totem animal. Or like, I don't know why I heard totem or token. Trophy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm hearing. I'm getting, getting, all, getting all these T words for some reason. Token, trophy, totem. I don't know. That's a little whack, but that's just what's coming through. But so just be open to receive. All right. Be open to receive the blessings. Um, okay, let's see what else is going on for you. What does Aries need to know for the month of March 2024? What's going on for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Any insight for Aries? What they can expect? What can Aries expect in the month of March 2024? Thank you. We have the world. I'm not surprised. The end of a... <clears throat> wow, my throat just got cut out when I tried to say that. The end of a cycle is near. You're going through this already. You're going through this transition already. And your vibe might be a bit serious with this Queen of Swords, okay? So this could be a serious ending. Queen of Swords to the Nine of Swords. You're working through these fears. You're working through these doubts. You're working through, you know, worrying. Worrying about yourself. Worrying about others. Worrying about your loved ones. Knight of Cups. The Queen of Swords to the Nine of Swords. This is where you're smacking yourself with some sense. With some reality. Someone knocks some sense into you. You're being... You know, that's another thing I was going to mention. But I didn't. But even with the Shark to the Owl. Because I was asking, okay, what's coming towards Aries? There could actually be somebody who has a lot of wisdom or who has a lot of knowledge who could be coming to you giving you some sort of advice and they may have told you this advice before in the past but maybe you with the, the firefly you chose to kind of ignore it or shrug it off or be like whatever like i make my own decisions or i live my life the way i want to but the the owl to this um shark this is someone with concern this is a yeah this is a different message i wouldn't really receive but today i'm receiving this is like there could be someone who is concerned for you or vice versa you can swap the roles someone you're concerned about someone but there's somebody here who wants to like help you or like support you or like give you some sort of advice if you're open to it or you might be asking for advice from somebody all right someone who's older than you wiser than you it could be an elder it could be like a teacher of some sort it could be somebody who i don't know like someone you look up to but at the same time, they kind of intimidate you. So that's a that's a message for someone. It might not be you, but say you're going through some sort of ending. Maybe it's a little bit tricky or a little bit challenging. You might actually be asking for some advice, and someone's like knocking some sense into you. This Queen of Swords is like, what are you? What are you so worried about, Aries? Like, pff, it's gonna be fine. Or hey, this is the solution. Or hey, this is how you do A B C. Like, let me show you. Let me walk you through. Like, this does feel like, you know. It could be that. It could also be, let's see, because, let's see. 
you could you have like some sort of decision to make or you could be at some sort of crossroad and you're just overthinking like what path you want to take but let me just say whatever you end up choosing it does lead to a lot of abundance and expansion and new growth and new experiences and lots of love and happiness and it's like abundance okay good health so don't I wouldn't stress too much about this. If you have a choice to make, but you keep going back and forth like, fuck, what am I going to do? What was better? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever you end up choosing, it's going to be great. So, you know, you just some of you are just getting way too caught up in the details or way too much in your head and you're getting overwhelmed. Okay. So, yeah, well, this is not a source of the Queen of Swords. If we can com combine this as an energy of just one person, this could be someone who's just like extremely like suspicious and untrusting um wants facts wants proof wants evidence all right evidence that this is coming to an end evidence that something is you know concrete or you wanting some sort of proof okay show me clearly what's going on for aries what's going on for aries in the month of march okay so justice reversed with temperance reverse fell out you're feeling some sort of injustice or you're working towards seeking some sort of justice or fair outcome ace of pentacles at the bottom it might require money for some of you or there's an investment that you have to make or you know there's a few strings you might have to pull we'll get to that but yeah temperance reverse and justice reverse libra and sagittarius energy this is screaming a huge imbalance all right so this is what's coming to an end if there's an imbalance in your life in some sort of way whether it's a relationship a job even how you deal with yourself if whatever this imbalance is this is what is being stripped away with this eclipse energy that is in store okay the eclipse is helping you wipe away some sort of big fat imbalance injustice something that's been unfair or rigged is what i'm hearing with this temperance in the reverse you see that they're kind of like they're maneuvering they're manipulating this in their favor there's something here that you recognize was like manipulated or was was done against you uh sabotaged something like that but so i see you eight of pentacles you're working on some sort of plan here you're working on ugh, i'm hearing gathering the evidence okay going back to that nine of swords queen of swords yeah it's like you're trying to you're like gearing up you're preparing and i say gearing up because literally there's like these gears in this card like yeah like what are you what are you preparing yourself for ace of pentacles the fool and the magician you're preparing yourself to have that win outcome so that it all works out in your favor this is what you're manifesting this is an intention that you're planting on this new moon you're really putting out the intention that yes justice is going to come in everything's working out for me there will be a fair outcome like i will if you if you're owed money or like if someone owes you in some sort of way um you know just know that debt will be paid out even with that uh scorpio energy that's the eighth house and the eighth house does typically rule like debt other people's money people that may owe you money or you might owe somebody money it can talk about you know death uh sex taxes even maybe there's something about your tax return or something like that i don't know um but definitely dealing with money and other people and like things going on in your physical tangible reality but yeah also seeing ace of wands ooh, and ace of cups you got three aces showing up here so you are truly a master magician you are a true freaking magician and you know what i'm just hearing a magician doesn't share their tricks or doesn't reveal yeah a magician doesn't reveal their tricks or something like that <laughs> um there's some things that you may need to keep in silence or keep to yourself or kind of keep on the down low is what i'm hearing so that yeah like if you're working on something and you know that there's an energy around you that's trying to like sabotage you um like if someone's even just sending you bad energy your way or like speaking badly on your name you know i would really suggest that you protect your energy set some strong energetic boundaries um and whatever it is that you are working towards keep it lips locked I'm hearing loose lips sink ships. Ooh. Okay, so just saying. Just saying. Alright, what else is going on for Aries? What else is going on for Aries in March? What can Aries expect? March 2024. Knight of Wands. 
Okay. King of Wands. Is there a face off? <laughs> or this is just you leveling up or expanding. But I feel okay, so I'm re I'm seeing this in two different ways. I'm gonna pull some more, but we have the hangman at the bottom. Could it just be personal growth, development, spiritual alignment here that you might be just going through. A huge level up from a knight to a king. Alright, so this I'm gonna read this two ways. Aries, I see that in March. You're leveling up, you're expanding your growth, your knowledge, your expertise. You're really like getting it down, getting it focused, like locking in, strategizing, your confidence is increasing, your skills increasing, your respect increasing. Another way that I'm seeing this is like this could be representing two different people and there is kind of like an ego battle of who's better than the other. Um, the King of Wands, obviously he's more experienced. He's gone through a much more than a knight. Um, a knight of wands tends to be a little bit more impulsive the king of wands plans a little bit more carefully and strategizes a little bit more whereas in the knight is a little bit more reckless a little bit not as thought out and sometimes not as consistent so it feels like if this is two different people there could be a bit of a challenge taking place or a little bit of face off a little bit of an ego battle a little bit of a what's the right way to put it <sighs> like a power struggle or power tripping so just something to be mindful of could be two masculine energies maybe it's you and a brother or a father or like a masculine figure in your life could be even a pisces or a fire sign this could be someone that you are working with here hangman to the six of pentacles <laughs> i'm seeing you may need to be a little bit more precise with your dealings of money all right don't let it slip through your fingers protect your money protect your your balance your pockets your credit cards all right what else is going on for aries in march thank you spirit this fell on top of work through your fears or you're releasing negativity four of cups oh okay so yeah feeling a little bit sl slow stuck stagnant trying to combine those words together this is where you're releasing negativity because this is what came out. This is what this fell on top of. All right, so Nine of Cups and the Page of Cups at the bottom. If your relationships have been a little bit, a little bit iffy, I see some important heart to heart conversations who talk about some things that were kept in the dark or kind of kept a secret. You may have the opportunity to like get some answers, get some clarity. Maybe you've been making excuses or somebody's making excuses here with the King of Swords. Um, maybe in denial of their intuition. So there's something that your intuition's saying. It could be about uh, a Gemini. We have the lovers. It's someone that you're deeply connected to or have a strong soul connection with that you've been kind of ignoring the facts or ignoring some sort of information or choosing to... Um, overlook something because of its negative attachment whatever you're not impressed about it's gonna be made up with the page of cups and the nine of cups it will be made up to you in some sort of way there's some sort of makeup going on here or amends what's going on for aries in march thank you five of pentacles this fell on top of the eight of pentacles so some of you are actually straight up working towards getting your money straight saving more money making more money if you're in a situation where you have been really struggling financially you are finding the solution to that you're getting your way out of it you're pulling yourself out of the mud and you're actually getting your independence back nine of pentacles at the bottom if you've been reliant on someone ooh, two of cups if you've been reliant on someone for your money or someone has been asking a lot of money from you and you've been actually having to support somebody financially or some sort of way, but it's been kind of taking a toll on you or it's been exhausting you, Ten of Swords, or creating tension or arguments or drama or anything like that. 
I see that something that's coming to an end here, death. This is something that you have to fight for though. All right, so this ending or like this ending of this struggle doesn't just come from you remaining quiet and like keeping your mouth zipped. You're actually gonna have to confront whatever this is and like speak up about it and voice your needs or voice your thoughts um, and like stand up for yourself, okay? So really stepping into um, like the, the backbone that you have, all right? Because this can't go on much longer. Some of you, you actually are gaining your independence from a relationship. Or maybe if they, there's been a lot of fighting or drama or bullshit between you and another person, you might just be saying, you know what? I better off alone. Nine of Pentacles. Um, so yeah, it's definitely, definitely some intense stuff that you're going through, Aries. Lots of, lots of different messages. I'm like, what am I going to call this reading? I don't know. But uh, the eclipse gotcha. It's gotcha. In lots of ways, lots of feels, lots of situations being brought up. All right, what else can you tell Aries? Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So he's, again, there's this energy of releasing. But again, this is also, when this card comes out, I really see this as like an indicator towards your money and your finances. It's like you may need to be a little bit more wiser when it comes to spending or saving or lending is also what I'm hearing. Um, being a little bit reckless. Okay, but you know, Ace of Pentacles. I see more money coming to you. So if you... Okay, let's just say there's some sort of unexpected thing that comes up where you have to dip into your savings or whatever. You know, there's something unexpected where you are being required to spend a little bit more money than you had intended on. I will just say it's going to come back to you. Ace of Pentacles underneath and it's connected to all these other Pentacles. So I wouldn't worry too much if I were you. Maybe that's the mindset that you have. It's like every dollar I spend comes back to me tenfold. Like, you know that every dollar, every money that you spend, it will find you. It will come back because it's a consistent flow of energy. What you put out comes back to you, right? Keep that flow going and it's nonstop. So that could be something that you're learning as well with the law of attraction. Six of wands underneath the ace of pentacles and the queen of swords. So people are seeing you as someone who's smart, witty, and focused and hardworking and I see you getting recognized in your career or whatever it is that you do for a living or even as a passion. I'm seeing like you might be getting way more attention. It's almost like as soon as you let go, things start to flow more easily for you because there's less resistance. Interesting. Let's do a little bit of clarifying and then I'm going to let you go. I'm going to look into this world. Because this is what's clarifying, um, or it's not even clarifying, but this is about some sort of injustice, an end to the injustice. So let's see how this will take place. Time of the world for Aries. I'm also seeing with temperance reverse and justice to then that eight of pentacles. It's like you're learning and you're working on doing better moving forwards. Maybe if you've made a mistake or if you've done something that you know wasn't good or you know was unfair or you know was kind of messed up. It's like I see that you're working on it or taking accountability for it. Maybe in the past you really struggled with that or your ego got in the way, or your pride got in the way or you had a very difficult time acknowledging or like you know, expressing where you went wrong. I'm seeing that as well. That's for someone, not going to be for everybody. But yeah, tell me the world for Aries. Tell me the world for Aries for the month of March. This card flew, and you get to see it before me. Ace of Wands. New start, new cycle, new beginning. This is during a clip. No, sorry. This is during Pisces season. Could definitely be around this new moon when this inspiration hits you or strikes you. Or I just, I see you'll be looking at things from a different perspective, a completely different angle than you had seen before. Even this ending, you're going to be looking at it differently. We have the Five of Cups and the the Wheel of Fortune. So again, your initial reaction to this ending or to this like, imbalance or this loss or this setback or whatever it's like yeah of course there are some tears that have been spilled there's some disappointment there's some heaviness it's a little rocky it's a little bit difficult to move past initially but then i just see something flips within you like a switch like you literally it's like you flip a switch and it's this setback that propels you for it's kind of like there's my dog going crazy in the back <laughs> it's like um 
pulling back a bow and arrow. It's like you kind of have to go backwards and it's going to slingshot you forwards. So if you've experienced some sort of setback or you might be experiencing some sort of setback in March, if this hasn't happened yet, which a lot of you, this hasn't happened, or it's maybe towards more of the eclipse in your sign areas, this might be a warning reading. <laughs> this might be a bit of a heads up of what might be coming. Like, all right, because we have new moon eclipse. The new moon eclipse is next month. It's in April. So this might be like ahead of timelines, okay, that are currently happening at this moment. Um, but so you might be going through some sort of emotional setback or maybe even financial, but it's going to like slingshot you forward. So try not to stress too much about it as best as you possibly can. I know, I know, I know, I know. Sometimes it's going to be real fucking hard not to stress, but if you can really just lean back into that faith and your intuition and just like trust spirit has a plan. Cross your fingers. <laughs> but yeah, um, nine of pentacles and it's leading you to more freedom, independence and wealth and stability. And abundance and also good health too so um what time are we at okay i mean what else could i clarify that might be helpful for you maybe i'll clarify this expect powerful change what's this expect what's this powerful change that you can expect aries what is this powerful change that's coming towards you it's a new start wipe the sleep clean okay but what else can you tell aries about this new moon eclipse what's this powerful change coming in the chariot momentum push a huge looks like i said the big slingshot you're being slingshot forwards again march there might be some sort of setback but it is temporary and it's it's taking you to where you're meant to be tell it this new moon eclipse for aries death reverse and we have a little, a little stacky stack eight of wands nine of wands queen of pentacles so you yeah like initially you might be a bit resistant even with death reverse you might resist this change you might be hesitant towards this change you might be kind of struggling with accepting or adapting being a little bit stubborn or set in your own ways or holding on to the past holding on to an old idea or how things you wanted it to be right you may have wanted it to be a certain way holding on to that idea but the universe has something bigger for you and as soon as you can kind of just be like all right you know what i, I let go that's i surrender that's where you're gonna freaking fly forwards that's where big fat push towards what though towards what spirit towards what kind of pentacles okay stability security abundance this is improvements in your home this is improvements in your job your physical and financial reality the moon okay so again this might be around either the new moon in pisces or that full moon eclipse for some it could even be in april okay just a heads up knight of swords no most likely it's around the new moon or the eclipse okay all right um yeah so i think i'll just leave a reading here aries i hope that this was helpful and insightful again this might be a more of like a heads up warning be prepared um just in case but you know, I trust that this will reach whoever is meant to hear this message. So that being said, I'm gonna let you go. Have a blessed March. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll talk to you next reading. Bye.